Um, hello again, this is me, Brian. Uh, today, uh, I thought I would walk, walk you guys through the, how to use the open shot video editor and how to edit a, a little video together and how to export it, right? You know what I'm saying? So, remember now we're using Linux Mint 17.3, um, Rosa. This is the mate release. I just started using this, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm saying uh, I'm I'm getting better, <laughs> but this shouldn't be too hard. I figured this part out at least by myself. So this is what we want to do. We want to take these three little these three little pieces of of MP4 video, right? And we want to stitch them together and we want to export it as one video so we can upload it to YouTube. So basically, what we use is right click here and then you go down here to right open with other application and then scroll down through your list and hit open shot video editor right and then open right drops you in right here then you take this one and you put it right here on the track one and hit the play button Okay, now, I normally stop a little bit short of the end of the clip because every once, because the, the computer that I'm using only has, you know, 1.9 gigabytes of, of DDRAM. It's saying, so I don't want to overpower it. I don't want it to lock up, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes if you let, on the open shot, if you let it run too far to the end of it, it will catch itself and it'll lock up and it'll freeze the whole thing and then you got to force quit and you got to start all over. So I use, I got into the habit of stopping here before you know what I'm saying it did that so now we want to catch that that's just a little tip now we're going to take the second segment we want to drop it in the two right we want to grab it here and we want to put it to the end right and then we want to hit the play button and keep going And then grab the third segment and drop it in the tool and then pull it down here and put it on track one and then play again. All right, stop. And then this is your, your export button right here, right? click right here now you want to give your project a name this this is where we're going to set it up where we're going to do the profile and with the target file and you know what I'm saying so just right here you want you want to give it a name so this one is um, um Oops. All right, that's a good title just for start. And you want to come down to your profile, right? Uh, we're going to cover all formats here. Now we're going to select a target. This it this is the default or Vorbis, you know, Sam. But I but since we do, I do a lot of YouTube uploads. I've discovered that AVI MP, you know, MPEG four is like really a good one. This is the video profile. We're going to leave it alone, and we want to move our quality up to high. Uh, those are the only setting changes that I do. This is the only one I do is I just change it from the, right? And then you want to export your video. Now, this is going to take a little bit. I see there's a progress bar dropped up on the desktop. Uh, we're going to let this happen right here. Um, I want to explain some of these other tools here. Uh, uh, this this one is the add plus add a track file. This one is the arrow tool that you release release your other tools. This is your razor tool, the snap resizing tool. This is the snapping tool. This is the marking tool. This is the add previous marker. And this is the next marker tool. Right? It's all pretty self-explanatory. There it goes. Right now, uh, we want to uh, right click. We want to come down here and we want to open it with videos and we want to check the progress.
Oh yes, that plays very well, you know what I'm saying? So we can go up here and we can close the open shot visitor editing tool right here if we want. You know what I'm saying? And you hit this, I always hit close that saving because I you know, we already have the, right here now. That's how you use, that's how you just stitch together a couple of those segments for to make a video, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna do now, right, is I'm gonna show you, I hear this right click, open the video editor, right, pull it in, drop it. Right, now, now I'm gonna show you how to splice it, how to edit it out, you know, take some stuff out. All right, once you got it dropped in, you wanna hit the play button. Right. Let me stop right here. First, let me close the sound. See, back. See, I made a little mistake. See, first you want to, you know, first you want to turn off the sound right here. This little icon allows you to hide the sound. This icon, the eye, allows you to hide the video. So you can hide either one, you know what I'm saying? So hide the sound right here. All right, click ahead. Okay, let's see. I want to, oh yeah, I want to cut. Let's see. I'm going to cut all this part out here, you know what I'm saying, where I'm fussing with my hair and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to put a mark, right? And then you go up here to your scissor tool and you click the scissor and it gives you this little, see you got the little razor tool right there, you drop down to the line and you cut it, you see how, and then you come up here to the other tool and you drop the scissors and then to this part is the part we want to edit out. You right click right here and you go up to remove click, drops it out. You grab this one, you pull it up to the line, right? You seek backwards and then you start again from where you're at. All right, keep on going. All right, oh, let's see. Okay. Now, see that little tiny piece? This, sometimes these, this is going to become a problem sometimes for little tiny pieces, right? So, I mean, yeah, you can snip them off. You can just put a mark and grab your scissor tools. But I highly recommend that you go a little bit past. You see where you want to stop, right? You know what I'm saying? If there's a blank space and you want to cut it on this side of the line, right? Right? And then once it squares over, here, let me drop my tool. Once it squares over and it has a very slight color change, right, you know that it sliced it. So you want to right click right there and you want to remove the clip, cuts it off at the end. Then you can go grab your next segment, right? pull it up and drop it in because this is where you want to start the next segment. Now, what I normally do is I always backpedal a little bit. Right? You can click, you know, the more you click the backpedal, the faster it's going to go. And then I always start it again to make sure. See? And then you, you just go from there. And once, once it scrolls to the end, you hit the... Right, the export video button, and you go through the series that I already showed you before in the previous video. But that's how you splice them and put them together. It's a pretty simple little process. This is a very good tool. You're saying I, you know, I, I, I do pretty good. I've uploaded a lot of videos up to YouTube using this tool. I'm sure there's still a whole lot more stuff I need to learn with it, and I'm still in the process of learning with it. You know what I'm saying? So as as I get better using the overall Mint operating system i'm sure i'll get better with this too but this is this is what i'm doing right now and i'm saying i i'm i appreciate you watching my videos you know what i'm saying and I, I hope that what i'm doing is helping you you know as much as it's helping me thank you please subscribe to my channel all right so let's go up to here and in order to stop the recording we go to this gray spot and we